Hello, I'm Chris Strauth and welcome to What? Go ahead and scream your miles from anywhere where anyone can hear you. Tonight on the show we have for you the syncopated sincerity that is Jason Logan and the Post Toasties. Their old-fashioned guitar goodness will bring a glow to your heart and a smile to your face. Now ladies and gentlemen, here they are, Jason Logan and the Post Toasties.
back Jason Logan. I'm he. And we kind of came out of the ashes of our old band, Beyond Zebra, which kind of fried. Hard. <laughs> they couldn't handle as hard as we were working, trying to shove this thing in Which is fine, because it, it would have happened later. It just happened yeah. sooner, because we were on the road all the time. So yeah. then we, uh, we got together with Rich on the last tour. Rich Matson from the Glen Russells was kind enough to do the tour. This would be Rich. That's right. Richie, our uh, chop master Sasquatch, as we affectionately call him. <laughs> and, uh, and Al, who's um, joining us from his other band, Box of Steaks, who are playing around, recently voted. What are you voted? Best, best band name of the year. That's right. Bad. You forgot about Rave Cage. I'm, I'm getting towards Rave Cage and the Paralyzing Doses of Fun. Rave Cage as the Reverend Strike and then Paralyzing Doses of Fun. I'm just grateful that everyone's been playing with, playing with me and so we can play these songs. And I think it's real nice that they're taking time from their other bands. What's Rave Cage? Dave Crage. Rave Cage. Get it? Oh. Strith Krauth. For those of you who think alien abduction is a joke, and those of you who just think that everyone out there who's seen UFOs is suffering from a mass hallucination, oh, we all saw the same thing at once, including government officials, including police officials, including citizens that are reliable, like you and I am. For those of you who are not convinced, who feel that it's just so much speculation and hype, <laughs> the next time you fall asleep and wake up with a little mark behind the ear or sort of a crunching up inside your nostril, hmm, maybe you'll think twice about that. So lately, I've noticed that there's been kind of a trend on the show that we've been a little wackier, a little crazier than usual, which is nice. It's, it's all good and well, but I've been kind of thinking, let's try and do something different and get back to the serious business that is music. So on this episode, there will not be any of those, like, wacky little humorous bits, and it'll just be the solid, serious business that is music. Matt, what are you doing? I'm, I'm just enjoying a banana. You know, it is quite possibly the world's perfect food. You're going to drop that banana and expect me to slip on the banana peel, aren't you? Well, to tell the truth, the thought had crossed my mind. It's not going to happen. There will be nothing wacky on this episode. Damn. Now here's more Jason Logan and the Post Toasties. <laughs>
Now let's head back to the roadside inn for some more delightful conversation with Jason Logan and the Post Toasties and what are you doing with that really large plank? Well, you know, without any wacky stuff going on, I just felt like I should try to make myself useful and haul some wood. No. Damn. Now, uh, are you going to tour as much as uh, Beyond Zebra did? Because uh, well, Beyond Zebra certainly had the reputation for being the uh, road, road sluts. <laughs> he says slut, I said pig. We, uh, we hopefully will be road doing some slut road pigs, shows. really. But no. uh, 
I booked all the last tours myself, and I don't want to do it again because it bites. So I want to get a booking agent to do that, and you know, so we can get money when we play and stuff. So we can eat and yeah, like, drive neat. and stuff. That'd be really neat. But uh, we'll be doing road shows. If I have to book them, I'll book some of them. Probably like Midwest stuff for a while, and then tour if we can get on the road with a bigger band or something decent. You know. I just want to go like, to Des Moines. <laughs> Yeah. That's okay, our, we can go anywhere else. That's where our, our last that's our van goal. blew up yeah. that I borrowed from my parents. <laughs> Only because you didn't borrow mine. Hey, Dad, I, <laughs> that's right. I blew Which up your van two days deep into a 45-day <laughs> tour. Can you come get us? We're in Des Moines. <laughs> <laughs> that's an awesome town to be stuck in, by the way. Ever been there? Where were we stuck again? Self Not what was it, Des Moines. what was it called? That House place? of Dolls. No, the Doll the House. Doll house. <laughs> <laughs> that was a real term. So anyhow... <laughs> So now, um, you guys are, there's a lot of people from other, as we mentioned before, from other bands that are kind of bigger, or not bigger, but just other bands, some of them which are like, you know, kind of well-known, like the Glenn Russells, and of course, Pearl Icing Doses of Fun, Huge. which, uh, I need another banana. So anyway, <laughs> tell us all about Box of Steaks. Got any well, coffee? Mm, we used to share the same bass player as... The immortal band Bean Girl, which and she moved to Japan, so we had to get a new one. His name's Seth. He's from another planet. Um, uh -huh. He is. He is too. He is. He's an astrologer. So I don't know. We don't do much. So I'm just kind of playing with him to to kill time. <laughs> <laughs> that must make you feel loved, huh? <laughs> oh well, you know I don't like him much, but uh, it's it gets so lonely around the house. <laughs> Oh, Christ. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, I, I see myself as a band slut. I'll play with anybody. You guys have a real slut time. slash pig fixation here. I never said slut. I never said pig. <laughs> But it ain't that costume 
Parting is such sweet sorrow. Alas, it is in fact time for us to say farewell. Our undying gratitude to Jason Logan and the Post Toasties for lightening our hearts with the gift of your music. You know, Chris, I, uh, I just want you to know that uh, I really respect your decision to play this episode completely straight. I, uh, you know, I don't know what I was thinking trying to be wacky. I, I really respect you. You're going to do something with that pie, aren't you? Yeah, I, I can't deny my nature. I'm sorry. Well, you know, you gotta, you gotta do what you must, and you gotta do something with the pie, and I guess you gotta get it out of your system. I appreciate that. Feel better now? Much better, thanks. We'll see you next time on What? This program was brought to you with support from Rev 105 Radio, the radio revolution, 105.1 and 105.3 FM, by Total Music Systems, Total Music for sound results. The Electric Fetus Stores, for music, clothing, and gifts, find it all at the Fetus. Gark Recording Studios of Minneapolis. Chris Strout's wardrobe, provided by Tatters Alternative Clothing, Minneapolis.